really just a celebration of us like we're all girls in our 20s doing big things figuring it out trying to like break generational curses trying to get rich we're like we're, we're doing the damn thing so this weekend was really just to celebrate us I'm not joking, all my guys, them, them know me. Since 06, I've been writing this story. You are alone. You have a positive motivating force within my life. Hey y'all, welcome to another vlog. And if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Nandria. Thank you for stopping by. And we have another week vlog. You guys, this week is going to be very interesting. Actually, let me just show you instead of telling you. Because telling you is one thing, but showing you is actually a completely different thing. So this is my calendar for this week. Um, if you see in one of my vlogs, you already know that the, the life I live is a very hectic one. But I'm going out of town this weekend. Me and my friend are going to Orlando. So this week really Monday to Thursday is going to be filled with just trying to get a lot of work out of the way so that when I come back from Orlando I don't have anything to do because I'm planning to be outside I'm planning to get lit I'm planning to have a time because this semester has been taking a toll on your girl simply because fourth year is really preparing for dissertation i've really been focused on that and then on top of that i've been having my internship so that's basically like a side job so your girl has been booked and busy so this weekend is dedicated to celebrating all the stuff that i have done this semester other than orlando that's pretty exciting for this week is that i'm defending my prospectus on friday so basically what a prospectus is is you're telling your committee the project that you're planning to do and they're going to like have feedback comments all that stuff on it and then if they say yes it's good then you're abd which is all but dissertation which means the only thing you have left in this program is to defend your dissertation and then you're done done or on the, the downside they can say no you need to go fix it but I think this project is really good and if I can answer their questions well enough then there should be no reason for them to give me like a no I should definitely be getting a good job be fruitful and go do research so that's what I'm hoping um the way that things are planned for this week I'm trying to work on my slides little by little each day and then I have a practice with my advisor on Wednesday and then I'll just practice by myself kind of fill in the gaps on Thursday and then the the prospectus is on Friday so yeah I'm a little bit nervous because I also have a few deadlines for the classes that's another thing too I was taking classes oh we I had some deadlines for my classes this week and then I'm also You know what? And then I'm also um, going to be going to do an intervention on Thursday. So, yeah. This week, I don't know how I'm going to get through it. But I've gotten through worse. So, we'll see. Right now, I've been working on... So, I have this paper with a professor. Ooh. Is this already unraveling? Y'all, my locks are unruly. But also, look how long they've gotten. I'm getting sidetracked. That's not the point. <laughs> so I've been working on this paper with a professor in the College of Education, and we submitted it to a journal. I don't know what's going on this morning. It's just a lot of noise coming from there. But we submitted the paper to a journal, and we got an R&R, &R, which is a revise and resubmit. So basically, the reviewers that read the paper, they give us comments, questions, feedback, and we have to revise the paper to kind of meet those comments and then we send it back to them so they can either accept it and publish it or they can reject it but it's very unlikely that you get an r and r and then you don't when you send it back you don't get a publication so yeah the paper is the the resubmission of the paper at least is due april 18th and today is april 1st so we have a little bit over two weeks left but we're trying to get it in early because i'm not trying to be working on this on top of all of the other things that i've been doing but right now I've been trying to run this code. So we've been using Stata for our analyses. This has been a new software for me. I took her class 
teaching Stata last spring semester, so spring of 2023, and that's how I met her, and then we ended up working together on this paper. But I've been doing this code, y'all. This code has been the bane of my existence for the past two weeks. All I had to do was add three variables and then rerun the analyses. Obviously, you have to adjust it because you're adding new variables, this and third, but it's really like very intuitive adjustments. And I know for a fact that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but the output is not what it's supposed to look like. So let me let me show you guys. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna run it from the top. Okay, so I'm actually just because let's do that. Okay, so this is the tables that I'm trying to have, but it keeps rerunning it under something else. So you see how it says table 11? That, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that is not supposed to be here. This table is for like past analyses. But like if you go all the way down, then it's where it starts the table one that I'm looking for. And I just don't understand why it's doing that because the code, clearly the code is correct because it's giving me the table I want, but I don't understand why it's appending it under all of these extra tables because these extra tables, they are not even in my code. So I'm just like, what is going on? So I have, this table, table one, table two, slightly different. It's only focusing on one element. Then we have table three. Table three is actually wrong because this is just supposed to be math, not ELA. So I have to go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna make a note. And then my last table, table four, that is good. Yeah, and see, then it does it again. I don't understand. My meeting with her is at 10, so in 20 minutes, I'm probably gonna head over there in 10 minutes, 15-ish minutes, just because the walk is a little bit, um, and I wanna get there in time, because I really just don't understand why it's not giving me what I need to get. But yeah, so once I finish my meeting with her, then I'm probably going to go over my slides for the lecture today. Um, I know that we're going over some analyses that I taught, but I can't remember the exact order. So just running through and making sure that I'm on top of it. Then I teach, then I'm probably going to have lunch, and then I go to my internship until 6. So that is my Monday, y'all. Mondays are usually like... Mondays for me they they start heavy they start strong they require a lot of energy so I'm hoping that I can get through it I didn't go to the gym this morning because I woke up sore so I should be should be energized so we'll see um but yeah I will check back in with you guys later and I'm so excited for this week I'm I'm really just excited to see if I can really get through it because like I said it's a lot going on this week but one thing about your girl, she gonna meet a deadline. She gonna get it done. I don't know how I be getting it done, but I get it done. Hey y'all, so it is now 2.26 and I'm headed to my internship. Um, I'm very hungry right now because I had like a good 45 minutes of free time between like my meeting and the time that I was supposed to teach. But I was like, you know, I'm, this is a quick lecture, and it was, it was a quick lecture. So I could eat after, before, eat after I teach, but before I go to my internship. But what happened is I didn't think that a lot, as many students were going to stay to do their work as they did. So they literally stayed. I'm glad they stayed, though, because they had a lot of questions, and I would prefer for them to ask me the questions in person than over email, because once I leave... This campus, I don't, I don't want to hear nothing. That they stayed, I'm just, I'm also suffering because like I said, I'm hungry right now. My internship hours for today are three to six 
and I have a meeting three to four. So it being basically two thirty, I'm a little, I'm a little worried that I'm not gonna have enough time to eat. I brought a quick lunch. It's just like um, this Cajun chicken spaghetti that I made the other day. I hate leftovers. I'm really kind of tired. I don't want to eat it, but I also have it for dinner. Am I gonna cook? Probably not. So I guess that's what I'm eating for lunch and dinner, if I even get to lunch. But I'm also very happy about how today's going because I was stressed that I wasn't gonna get through everything that I need to get through today. But while they were working on their assignment, I was also working on my slides for my defense on Friday. So I got through a good chunk of that. And then tonight I'm probably going to, I have to edit a YouTube video and then I'm gonna start working on this graph for the paper with um, the ed professor that I was telling you guys about we went through the analyses and the code that I was running it was right but it was also wrong at the same time what was right about it was like I used the right you guys probably don't remember but I used the right module models and the code was right but when I was labeling the tables for the output I was forgetting to label some columns so what Stata was doing was let me ask you wind this up and turn on the air what stata was doing they were putting the data under each of the columns because since i didn't label it it didn't know where to put it so that's that was the error um but yeah so our tables are finalized and then she wants a bar graph to kind of help i think graphs are always good to accompany tables so i am supportive of that but the code and stuff that i need to do to get this graph looking the way she wants it to look it's a bit above my proficiency in this software. So she said like, just give it a try and then if I have problems, then I will just email her and send it to her. So that's what I'm planning to do today. I'm just gonna give myself an hour, hour and a half, depending on how much time I have tonight. If it's not done that time, it's not done, not my business. And cause like I said, I have other stuff to do. And then tomorrow, it's a fuller day at my internship. So I want to make sure that I'm getting all the grad school work done and out of the way so that I can focus on that. And then when I come home, I don't have nothing to worry about. So wish me luck because I'm actually starting to get tired. And I know once I eat, the itis is going to hit. So I don't know how the, the rest of the day is going. But I'm going to talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all. So today is Wednesday. Um, yesterday kind of got busy so I wasn't able to pick up the camera but I wanted to make sure that I did vlog today so yesterday they asked me to um hold on so yesterday they asked me to do um a intervention for another school so this is going to be my second school that I'm doing this intervention with usually um the school that I originally had was on the Damn near outskirts of Tallahassee. It was like 20 minutes to drive there. If you know Tallahassee, anywhere over 15 minutes, you're basically outside of Tallahassee. But yeah, that was my school, and it was supposed to be every Thursday, but then they got um, permissions or something happened, and they added this school, so they asked me to do it, and I was like, yeah, sure, I guess. Like, I don't want to, but I guess. Why not? So I have the intervention materials in this big old crate you want if you want to call it that Ooh. and y'all it was so much to get even in schools i had to go do a background check and get like a a uh leon county school id to even let me into the school it was just a lot I i'm not a fan <laughs> i'm not a fan but here we have um our treasure box so every time the kids get through so there's gonna be six sessions for the intervention and every time the kids get through a session they get a prize so that's what the treasure box is for um, each of the kids they also get this cute little journal uh, let me show you what I contributed to this it was like a team effort for real for real but the main thing that I was responsible for were the this emotions I don't know if you can see this emotion scale you probably can't come on this emotion scale so i took like a week on that <laughs> because it really isn't that hard to just go on google and find some 
pictures but we had to go back and forth on it for so long i was like y'all y'all making this a lot more harder than it needs to be but it is what it is and then someone else had to fine tune the pictures but yeah i have an ipad to um let me see if i remember the password yeah perfect we have an ipad where we have the videos that we're showing them and stuff like that this is like the checklist that I have to go through to um, make sure that we're all doing the same thing when we get to each of the schools. It's a very long checklist of things I have to go through to make sure that this gets done properly. But yeah, so I'm doing one today and another one tomorrow and then it goes on for six weeks. The time that the, the teacher set up for us was 9.30 and it's now 9.10. So I'm really just going to sit here until maybe 9.20. I'm thinking if I should wait that long because the earlier I start, the earlier I, yeah, I'm going to wait until 9.20 because her availability was 9.30 to 10.30. So I feel like even if I go early, she might say she's not ready yet. Because this is a location with kids and all of the protections they've already taken to make sure to protect these kids i won't be oh y'all see how dark it just got the weather is so stinking gloomy today i hate it so much and you guys can't see because this is making it look way brighter than it is but it's actually very dark um and very gloomy but yeah so i won't be taking you guys in for the intervention, I might record like when I set out the materials, but for me, actually doing the intervention, walking in school, all that stuff, I'm going to not just for the sake of like protect kids. We gotta protect kids, especially in America where the schools are, you see how dark it just got? And it's getting darker. Okay, I do have an umbrella. I'm gonna bring it with me just in case. Is this actually even where I'm supposed to be parked? Okay, it says visitors parking. But is that visitors parking out here or visitors parking over there? Okay, y'all, so I made it home. Um, the intervention went really well. So now I have a meeting with my advisor to go over my talk for my defense on Friday. Y'all, I'm actually gonna be straight up with her. I don't, I don't think this is even ready for practice because the slides itself, I don't like them. Um, so I really want her to just speak on how, well, give me feedback on the slides. So I know what I'm missing, what I need to add, what could be better. Because right now it's really just all over the place. It's not all over the place. I'm going to be very honest with myself. It's not all over the place. But it's not together to a point where I feel like this is done enough for me to practice a talk. I would like to finish the slides, then practice the talk. So right now... Hold on. So like this, this whole thing doesn't need to be there. This either needs to be bullets or some pictures or whatever. Now the front half, the front half is good. The front half is fine, right? That is good. What I'm worried about is more so like when we get later on into the, like this, I don't really like this. This seems like a lot. This is okay, I guess. This is okay. This eh, might be the best. I can do this, definitely needs to change. This, I don't really like this down here at the bottom. So like it's little things that I feel like we need to go over first before I actually do a talk through. But yeah, the slides are like 80% done at this point. Mm, 90, 95. <laughs> so I'm hoping that she'll give me some good feedback on how to fix it to better prepare it for the talk. And then I'll probably just do a practice talk on my own and send her the recording. And then she can like give me better feedback but she's not letting me it says waiting for the host to start the meeting so I am NOT ready to do a practice talk but um, I wanted to know if it was okay with you if I could walk through the slides and then when I get home from work I can record 
a session and then you could watch it whenever you can because I didn't know what exactly not I didn't know what exactly to put on it but it was just a lot of stuff to put on it so I was like picking and choosing and it just got to the point where I just had like a lot of stuff on the slides. Well, let, let's wait for Zara unless there's like a specific question you have for me. <laughs> really just like, is it looking good? Am I missing stuff? What more should I add? Um, okay, yeah. Those are the general. Um, yeah, there's still like decisions that need to be made. But yeah. yeah. And you removed an aim as well. Yeah. So. And the measures changed. It was more than I thought. Anyway. Well, actually, I guess the whole sample changed. I forgot. Yeah. That was giving them time to do it. Do so it. the more spaced everything can still be, the better. But, um, I mean, look at your calendar and see how possible that is. But I Hey, y'all. So it is now, what time is it? It is now 8.50 p.m., okay? 8.50. I originally wanted to start work on uh, around eight but i was on the phone with one of my friends and we was just catching up vibing chatting um so obviously lost track of time and i'm a bit worried because this was going to be like my hardcore night for getting work done so right now it's looking like i'm gonna be going to sleep pretty late and oh my gosh please excuse my appearance as you can see it is past time for a retwist. My appointment is on Friday, so don't come for me, please. But um, this is the to-do list for tonight. So I met with my advisor. I think that's the last time I actually picked up my camera because my camera died. But this is nothing funny. I met with my advisor and she had some feedback on my slides. So my plan for tonight is to finish the slides, like 100% finish them. It's really not much to do. I was actually more like 75% done with my slides. So there's not much done left, but it just takes a little bit of effort. It's mainly like figuring out how I want to display the information I'm going to say and figuring out which information I want to save or show, those kind of little things. So finish my slides and then record a run through since I didn't do a run through earlier and then send that to her. And then I also have a discussion board due for my class on Friday. But because I'm going out of town on Friday, I'm going to get it done today. Because also tomorrow night is really, I want to do, I need to pack and get ready for vacation. Not, not vacation, but this girls weekend. So I want to pack and get ready for the girls weekend. And then I want to practice um, the presentation a couple more times just so I have it really stuck into my head. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do the discussion board tonight. And then I wanted to edit a YouTube video. I, the video is already recorded and everything. It's really just edit and post. But it's been taking me like an hour, a little bit over an hour to get those videos out. So I'm just like, do I want to start with that first and get that out the way? Because that's going to be a lot. I think I might do that first, actually. Just get the longest thing out the way. Um, I submitted my abstract for that conference this morning. Oh, and then I have the graph. I still haven't worked on the graph at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work on it for, I'm going to set a time limit. And whatever I get done in that time is going to be what's done. And then I'm going to send it to her in the morning and just be like, listen, I have no time today or tomorrow. This is what I have. And hopefully she'll be able to finish it. If not, when I get back on Monday, I can finish it. So that's really nothing I'm stressing about. But So technically, I have four things to do. But each of these things are going to take at least an hour. And it's 8.53 now. So if four things for four hours, that's... 1 a.m. I'm not really looking forward to that. I'm, I'm not, but we shall see. We shall see. Wish me luck. I'm, I'm getting more excited as the weekend is coming, but also more nervous, especially now because my slides aren't fully done and I haven't done like a real run through. So my emotions are kind of all over the place. And I think it's also because my period is supposed to be coming. It was supposed to come today, but she's hiding. Um, so I think that's also why this bulk of emotions is going on. But yeah, let me hurry up and get to it. I got my coffee already on deck. Y'all know when I'm pulling this out at nighttime, we really about to get down to business. It's, it's really pedal to the metal. <laughs>
you guys oh my goodness what a day today is i just got off the phone with a friend that i'm going to orlando with tomorrow and we're both really playing with life let me take these out. i don't even know what these are in but neither of us have picked our outfits we haven't started packing we're still like doing last minute prep now me i'm truly playing with fire y'all because i was i haven't picked out my outfits there i threw i I literally just threw out whatever was in my drawers because I didn't buy nothing for this trip. <laughs> I have never been this unprepared and I'm laughing to hide the pain because low-key I'm stressed but at this point what can I really do? So yeah I pulled out some pieces from what I already have and right now I'm going to figure out what outfits I really have. Another thing too is like we have some like restaurants and things that we want to do in mind, but we haven't really fully selected it. I think we have two spots that are solidified, which is also so crazy. So I'm like, I'm packing, I'm trying to pick outfits for stuff I don't even know that I'm doing. So it's a whole shebang, y'all. And then when I'm finished picking out the outfits, I have to go do my nails because I said, you know, I'm gonna try and save some money. I'm gonna be a DIY girly. I'm gonna do some press-ons. So I went to the beauty supply store and got these press-ons. I was going to go for the regular French, but I was like, why not switch it up a little bit? And I like the little early 2000 vibes this is giving. Like, you don't see this type of design anymore. You really and truly don't. So I was like, might as well bring it back. But this is my first, first time doing press-ons. I really wanted to do it earlier. But here's the thing, too, y'all. I locked myself out of my car. <laughs> When I tell you today was a day, y'all, I mean it. I truly, truly mean it. But yeah, I have to pick these outfits. I have to do my nails. And then, y'all, if you've forgotten, let me remind you, my defense is tomorrow. And it's been right there at the front of my brain. I have messaged my advisor about it even today. But for some reason, just, I just can't believe in my head that it's tomorrow. Like, this is crazy. Dissertation prospectus, defense, tomorrow. And I'm over here scrambling for Orlando. <laughs> oh my goodness. But no, to be very serious with y'all, I've done probably like four run-throughs. None of them were like in my head or for me at least really, really good. And then my advisor sent me like two notes that she was like, here's some suggestions that I have. So I didn't haven't incorporated that yet because I got home late because of the cold car fiasco. So once I finish all of this, I definitely, definitely have to get at least two solid run-throughs done before I feel really comfortable. The fact that the defense is on Zoom kind of works in my favor because that way I don't have to try and remember stuff. I already have my notes there and they can't see me reading the notes. So it kind of works in my favor. I think that's another reason why I'm not like fully stressed how I'm supposed to be. And then also like, I know my project, so I believe in my project I believe in me and also and something that God has been trying to teach me lately is like stop stressing like let him do what it do because one thing about him he he don't play about me so but yeah I just wanted to catch y'all up because I didn't have time to pick up this camera at all today it was literally go 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 I did an intervention this morning um then I came home and did the run-throughs then I went to the post office then I went to my internship and I got locked on my car it was a long day but yeah so it is now 9 14 which isn't too late but think given that everything i have to do i'm hoping that i can be in bed by one i went to bed like two almost 2 30 last night this morning so i want to make sure that i get some sleep because i have my hair appointment in the morning and if i miss it i'm sol <laughs> oh my goodness you guys i'm also kind of nervous about that because I hope she does not go over the time because my appointment is at 10 30 and my defense is at 12 so I hope she doesn't go over the time but I also hope it comes out cute my locks are pretty thick so sometimes it could be hard to style but we'll see that was my breath of release I was letting go and letting God but um yeah let's do the fun part I'm about to go play some music and I'm gonna pick these outfits out and hopefully something cute comes out of it
this committee. This is one of my favorite committees that I've been at, like the topic, <laughs> the grouping. I'm just like my sociology and human development friends yeah. and my high ride, like they never meet Yay. on the same project as not my own project. So this was a very delightful surprise oh, at the, the last defense and then also now. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. Are you guys seeing the correct slides? Yeah, let me see them. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming. Today, I will be talking about my dissertation project, which is entitled, okay, it keeps doing this because I've practiced it so much, it thinks it knows the, the speed I go to, but we're going to go push through. But the title of my project is Perceptions and Performance, Unraveling the Neighborhood Influence on Youth's Academic Achievement and Educational Beliefs. For Hispanic populations, we see gaps in reading ability at school entry between Hispanic and white students, similar to the gaps we see between black and white students. And so understanding and addressing these differences is crucial for fostering not only equitable educational opportunities, but positive outcomes for all students. I will employ a mixed methods research design to better understand how children's neighborhood environments influence their academic outcomes. And that is all that I have, and I am open for questions. All right, thank you, Nandria. Um, all right, anyone have questions? Who wants to start? I have some questions, but I can start with um, one, so I don't monopolize time. So uh, maybe maybe two, we'll see, because they might be related. Can you go back to your hypotheses for research question one? Okay. So I'm, I'm curious, um, just you're thinking about the distinction between your question two and, sorry, hypothesis two and hypothesis three, because you've got the neighborhood disadvantage, um, and even, even one, you've got the COI and ADI, which you mentioned contain things like SES disadvantage, income quality employment, and the COI is things like quality of resources, education, health, and environment. I assume that, that would be things like parks. Mm -hmm. And so to me, it looks like all of your variables here are going to be really highly correlated. Um, COI and ADI will be highly correlated with um, proximity to shelters, firearm dealers, parks. Um, they were a disadvantage is going to be highly correlated with those as well. And so I'm curious whether you actually need three separate research questions here or whether you think COI and ADI will capture the big picture. Um, and how you're going to distinguish these particular things um, from those other kind of like overarching, um, I don't know, variables. Does that make sense? So my understanding is your question is the variables that I'm using, they're essentially measuring the same thing. So how am I going to separate what their what results I see that they're contributing to? I don't know why this slideshow is keeps going. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, one is whether you think you need um, to measure them separately. Like if you think the COI as something that captures resources and education and environment is going to capture things like shelters and firearm dealers, right? And whether you think that ADI is something that captures SES disadvantage and income is something that's going to capture neighborhood disadvantage. What is the distinction between like question one, question two, question one and question three, or are they really just asking the same exact question? That is a great I, question. I think I also, before you answer David's question, I had a similar question with that. Um, yes, yeah, so what is it that you're gathering above and beyond the COI and the ADI by also including proximity to um, shelters and things? And was inserting those variables was that included because of the literature, the fact that we found specific relations between those those contexts within the environment and reading? Um, and is it necessary then to include those above and beyond the indices that you propose? Great, great question. I did think about this a little bit. So to answer the first part, so shelters and firearms dealers um, and parks, they were found in Callie Little's paper when she examined neighborhood factors using kind of similar methodology. So that portion of the research question or the hypotheses for that research question is more so replicating what we've already seen. So we saw it in her study, but will this be replicated, especially given the fact that I'll be using twins and this is also like 
across the United States. I wanted to see whether or not we would see that same relationship in this study. Now to go back to David's question about the similar, okay, I'm gonna figure out how to just, I'm just gonna end the show and we're going to go back to this because it keeps presenting. Um, and I'll share this. So to go back to David's question, I do believe that incorporating the COI and the ADI will add something additional to the model. It is very true that it is measuring similar things, but I'm wondering if because they're, the COI and the ADI is kind of like, a, what's the word I'm looking for? Combined or overlapping? They're complementary? No. Oh my goodness, this is not the time where words should fail me. Like the indicators for education, they're all under one thing. So we're not pulling out these things separately. We're going to see how education as a whole is relating to this at, according to the COI. And we're going to see how SES as a whole, we're not looking at those specific individual measures. So that's it's giving a kind of like a holistic view of these indicators. Versus then when we go down to those um, disadvantaged measures that I have, residential instability, racial ethnic segregation, they're speaking to it individually on those variables. So I believe they are kind of examining the same thing, but they're examining it in different ways. So they're going to contribute different things. Yeah, everyone thought um, you did a nice job putting this together. Everyone's happy with you basically passing and able to this is always like slightly anticlimactic like oh now you can do the enormous <laughs> amount of work you just did work i'm excited congratulations Thank you. Still. Oh, you wow. good job. hey y'all oh actually look kind of cute look who's here look who's here beyonce <laughs> it's me baby she took precious time off tour, y'all, you know, to come part. to come hang with the little people like me. For okay, for her, her. But look, Lex is in the building. So the you look so long. nice. Thank no, the hair looks really nice on you. Thanks. You did a great job, y'all. She installed this book, Lex. Okay. <laughs> the Mac Drea. <laughs> the Mac Drea. And then you guys, I have a surprise. So it was just supposed to be me and Lex, but then they planned it to bring SNA. In cahoots. In cahoots. Can you imagine I introduced them to each other and they planned it behind my back? Crazy. That means a proposal? Okay. I like that. I like that. I did a big one. Okay. Okay, purr. I love this. Oh my goodness. But yeah, we're at our hotel in Orlando. We're drinking. We're having a good time playing music. We're going to... I don't even know where we're going to. Um, Karma? Chroma. Crumble? Chroma. Chroma. Yeah. Latin? What kind of restaurant is it? Are we doing sandals? You got your tag. That's See, I'm wearing sandals outside. I'm wearing sandals outside the house. I mean, the hotel. But when we get there, I might switch into my heels. I think I might do the opposite. That works too, actually. Yeah. I have the scissors in the. Okay. Yes. So yeah, um, we're going to Chroma. It is 25, I think, minutes away. Yeah, something like that. I think that's what you said. Yeah. Um, I tried to charge my camera and it literally only got like 20%. So I don't know if I'll be vlogging, but let's go through the fit, y'all. Because the whole entire fit is from Shein. So. Where's the glitter from? That's good. <laughs> Thank you. The glitter lotion oh, is um Bath and Body Works. Uh, she went to Nikki's concert like two days ago. $45. Oh, hell no. So yeah, Shein, corset body, tights, Shein. The necklace is actually Amazon. It is linked on my storefront. The bracelet, Shein. The clip-on earrings, Shein. And y'all, I had to fix my hair because that girl did me dirty. So I found another style on Pinterest and the hair that I had worked for it. So that's what I did. And yeah, do you guys want to do outfit checks? My body's going to die though. No. No. Just so I'm they're here. cute though. Just so they're cute. I don't even know just so where this dress cute. is from. This was, remember this dress from Columbia? Pretty little thing. No. No. Fashion Nova. It's a UK brand. Oh. I don't remember. Oh, oh so you like, got from Instagram? No, like Murray, Mercy. Mercy? Mercy. Yeah, yeah something like that. Ah. I think that's where this is from. Pretty little thing shoes. 
and pretty little thing bag. Oh, my bag also is from Shein. I did forget my bag, but yeah. No, I lied. Shein she shoes, Shein bag. Don't pay me no money. <laughs> we are ready, lady. Let's go. I have to bring my slippers. So I will see y'all in the morning. Ooh, we still yeah. don't even know what we're gonna figure out what we're doing tomorrow at dinner. This yeah. is my, my okay. Bye. Oh, also, yeah, I passed. I passed. I passed. I passed. I passed. So now when I get back on Monday. It's time to get into some data. I sound like a nerd saying yeah. that. Wow. Hey. Good morning. In her own world. <laughs> yes. Priorities. Oh, you're making. What is that? Oh, then what's that one? That's Oh, it's just the Red Bull? Yeah. Dang, y'all drinking already. Girl, you told me vacation. Golly, can you make me one, please? Then sorry, I made that last minute decision, last second decision. <laughs> but hey, y'all, um, it's what's today, Saturday, and we just got ready. We're gonna go to brunch, lunch, one of those. It's like 11 45 right now, so we're early for brunch. We're early, we're late for, late for brunch. it's 11 54 actually, so we're doing something. Let's just call it we're out to eat. Okay, they're they're making a little drinky drink because apparently we're on vacation, so that means drinky drink around the clock. And I didn't get that memo for real. It's okay. I'm gonna put that stuff right there and not even gonna know I didn't finish it. But yes, um, today is gonna be a day of vibes. Oh, that was quick. Thank you. Today's gonna be a day of vibes. Yes, you want drink? The only yeah. thing we have like solidified is our nighttime activity, which is gonna be uni Unico, correct? What a drink. I thought we went to the strip. What a drink at? I thought we were going to both. What a okay. drink. Oh, you didn't make it yet. But no. I th I mean, okay, both. so we're starting at Unico and then we're going to the strip, or are we going to the strip and then going to Unico? Yeah. They don't hear me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's why I said, are we starting at Unico and then going to the strip? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Okay. But throughout the day, it's just vibes. I want to get my smiley pierced. SNA wants to go to Sephora. I think I also want to go to Sephora, not Sephora, Ulta, because I ran out of my hyaluronic acid serum, which is essential to the skincare routine. So yeah, but where are we going again, JoJo's? I'm gonna do a shot. Oh, it's 11.54 in the morning. Come on, man. Ugh. That juice is not sweet. I am not a drinker. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's what it is. The tequila is just really strong. Uh, alcoholics, I tell you, they're all alcoholics. <laughs> oh, but look, they got me a bottle. With These are, get you guys some good friends, man. I don't know who's drinking it, but I'll probably sip on it in the evening times when I'm doing work. Oh, yes, we could do that right before we leave. Or tonight when you have on that. Yeah, because my outfit is pink, actually. Oh. I might have the. I think I got everything for real. Well, this is my work bag. All right, can we be out by 12? Yes, absolutely. So we have four minutes. Oh. I can't do shit. Ladies. Yes, Today's lesson, relax. <laughs> it's okay to slow down. You don't have to be in a rush every day. <laughs> you know, these New Yorkers, they're on a quick, 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 quick. Relax. relax. This is hilarious.
We are about to head out. It's 9.30. Um, we had originally planned to go to Unico, Gastro, whatever, whatever. But we called to make a reservation and they said they were full. The only thing they had left was like VIP, but we had to buy two bottles. And we just finished the one bottle in the two days. So we definitely weren't going to do that. So we found a different hookah lounge, but we're going to get food first. We don't know where. Um, and then go to that hookah lounge because it closed at 2 a.m. And it looked pretty chill. It looked like a chill, cool spot. So, yeah. And then after that, we're going to go to the strip and then that's going to be for the night. I think we're supposed to do brunch tomorrow, but I don't really know. We might sleep in depending on what time we get in and then check out is that new too so i don't know because i didn't pack so i definitely have to pack tomorrow morning so we'll just have to see but let's do a quick outfit check surprisingly most of my outfit is from shein so this bangle kind of bracelet is from shein this is a cartier bracelet from dhk this is from amazon it's a dupe for the van cleef this top is from shein this skirt is from shein and my and my slipper is from Shein, and my bag is also from Shein. I got this for my birthday actually, um, and I was just like, let me reuse it. So I'm really trying to build my closet where I can like reuse stuff. So I tried my best not to buy stuff. The only thing I bought was the shirt, the skirt, and the jewelry. Everything else I've already had. But um, you about to take some shots. We are already been sipping and we about to go have a great night. This was a wonderful weekend, a wonderful end to the week. And also like really just a celebration of us. Like we're all girls in our 20s doing big things, figuring it out, trying to like break generational curses, trying to get rich. We're like we're, we're doing the damn thing. So this weekend was really just to celebrate us. And the fact that my friend popped out, she's on the phone with her mom. But the fact that my friend popped out just to like come and celebrate with us, it just... Surround yourselves by some good people, y'all. I have been blessed to have great friends, so I'm just very happy. And y'all, you see how it fits my hair? But yeah, so this will be the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.